This Veterans Day, there are approximately 8,500 men and women actively serving in the Massachusetts National Guard. For more than 377 years, Massachusetts National Guard members have served in every major armed conflict, with each veteran service telling its own story. One of those stories is of First Lieutenant James Conway, a pilot from the 102nd Fighter Interceptor Wing, whose choice likely saved the lives of many East Boston residents. Long before the 102nd became an intelligence wing, and before they moved to Otis Air National Guard Base, they were the 102nd Fighter Interceptor Wing, stationed at Logan Airport in Boston. At the height of the Cold War, the wing was tasked with protecting the northeastern United States from aerial threats. On October 2, 1954, Lieutenant Conway was one of two alert pilots on duty. Their job was to respond to any aerial threat. In the late morning on that warm fall Saturday, the pilots were ordered to intercept an unknown aircraft. Within minutes, Lieutenant Conway and his F-94 Starfire jet were speeding down the runway. Shortly after takeoff, his single-engine F-94 Starfire lost power. Instead of ejecting from his disabled aircraft and saving himself, Lieutenant Conway chose to make the ultimate sacrifice. Loaded with ammunition and fuel, the jet was losing altitude quickly and heading directly for a residential area in East Boston. Lieutenant Conway nosed the aircraft down into the embankment along Bayswater Avenue. This sacrifice, while killing him instantaneously, saved the lives of countless families and future generations of East Boston citizens. I had a month old baby in the crib and all of a sudden I was in my kitchen and Boom, this terrible, terrible explosion. And uh, I picked the baby up and ran outside, and all black smoke was down the street. If he'd gone left or right, he would have killed many people. But he just, he did, what he did was a very brave thing. Today, if you drive down Bayswater Street, East Boston, you can see Lieutenant Conway's memorial plaque with an inscription detailing his sacrifice. His story has become part of the heritage of the 102nd Intelligence Wing. It's one of a countless number of stories from veterans of the Massachusetts National Guard and the United States military. For Otis Air National Guard Base, I'm Master Sergeant Aaron Smith.